Let's talk more about the economy and how economic questions are playing into the race for the White House. Joining us is Roger uh, Altman, Evercore, a founder and senior chairman. So, A. Hey, Joe, Roger, good morning. Good to, good to see you. Good morning. Do you, a, do you think the soft landing narrative uh, is still the most likely uh, outcome? And do you think that that VIX high will... Um, Will that be it? It was over 50. Do you, do you think we've seen the worst? On the first question, in terms of the soft landing, Joe, yes. I think that scenario is intact. And let's break it down. The labor market is, is slowing slightly, but it's healthy. The unemployment rate didn't rise because of a drop in demand. It rose because of continued labor force expansion, which is a real plus. And the three-month uh, average on uh, job creation, monthly job creation is 170,000, which is a good number. The employment population ratio is at a 22-year high. Labor force participation rate is up, not down. It's a healthy job market. Inflation is moving in the right direction. We all know that. Uh, the three-month annualized PCE, 2.3%, almost where the Fed wants it to be. And growth is solid. Looks to, looks to be in the 2% 2, 2 plus range right now. So very healthy environment, soft landing intact. Is the recession risk zero? No. You know, Goldman Sachs has it at 25 percent. JPM has it at 35 percent. But basically, their views, uh, and they look right to me, is that the most likely scenario is, yes, the soft landing, which is what we all want. I guess that doesn't necessarily tell us anything about whether stocks are a buy here, though, does it? Um, so many things go into whether it's a good time to, uh, to buy. We've had two, two, 24 pretty good months of, of stock market action. Yeah, well, I'm the last person on earth anybody should consult for advice on stocks. But uh, look, valuations are very high by any historical standard. Yeah. And yeah. my reaction to this, uh, not worth much, is it's just a mild correction. I mean, if you look, for example, uh, at Apple, you know, Apple was at 120, declined by 10 points on mon on uh, on Monday to 110. A month ago, it was 80. I'm sorry, 180. Uh, uh, 220, 210, 180. And you know, it's it's very high by all all objective standards. By the way, my view deserves to be, but that 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 strikes me as just a mild correction. I think the scenario uh, there isn't there isn't a factor that I can see which would fundamentally upend the equities market and bring on a sharp correction or a traditional correction, unless this majority view on the soft landing somehow proves wrong. I don't think it will, but I, you know, that, that is the one thing that could upset the apple cart. I have um, a, vi a, a, a vision in my mind of you sitting here, and I think I ask you, whether you th you thought that Vice President Harris should tack to the center. And I think you said that you would urge her to do that and be disappointed if, if she didn't. Was that, do you remember that, right? And you're, you, you know, there are times where I think I can grudgingly drag stuff out of you um, and, <laughs> and because you're a, a business guy and you've been, you know, a Clinton, a Clinton Democrat. Do you think that the, were you pleased with, uh, with, with the vice presidential pick? Do you, do you think that the, the, that ticket can move to the center or, or is it going to be, it's just going to be labeled a San Francisco Democrat progressive radical ticket? Well, there's been a uh, nearly miraculous reversal of fate for Democrats when it comes to the outlook for the White House, the Senate and the House. Only a month ago, uh, Democrats were pretty close to being dead in the water. Uh, and if you think way, if you step way back, the decision that the Biden campaign made to seek that very unorthodox early debate, uh, historically unprecedented to have a debate in late June, ultimately paved the way for President Biden to step aside right. and Harris to become right. the nominee. And obviously Kicking the Democratic screaming. base, yeah. Yeah. Kick, yeah, the Democratic and base has gone from demoralized to yeah. very excited. Now, it's going to be a very close race. Looks to be 50-50 to be or so right now. 
to the best of my knowledge, Vice President Harris, uh, you know, is a full, full-throated supporter of the whole Biden-Harris agenda and the economic record of this administration. Uh, we may not agree on this, but I think it's been very good. I mean, if you look at job growth, you look at GDP growth, you look at inflation finally getting close to where we want it to be, you look at non-residential fixed investment, which has boomed manufacturing, uh, it's, it's a good record. It's not perfect, but it's a good record. Right. And I don't, I'm not aware of any aspect of her approach, which is at fundamental variance right. with that but voters, record. Voters don't. That's a weird thing. At least, poll, you know, for whatever polls are worth, for some reason, the voters still prefer Trumponomics to Bidenomics. Hey, Roger, well, I let think, me ask you. I think that's okay. all about the cost of living, and we can come back to that right, if you want. Right, right. Well, that's which is important.